What's up, all you beautiful, gorgeous, so exciting people out there? Welcome back to my Raiders franchise, Raider Nation. It's back in action this week, and this week we're facing off against the San Diego Chargers. A rematch, a divisional rematch of what happened earlier in the season when we also got a W that time. And as a short little recap, as we do every week, last week I faced off against the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs. Earlier they put a whooping on me, earlier they beat me down, they made me chopped liver, they made me cream of mushroom soup. But last week I got the W to put it to a mark of 11 and 3 on the season. That's right, 11 and 3. I've been, I'm in a place where I didn't think I was going to go earlier in the season. Earlier in the season, when we first started off, I didn't think I'd get this far with Oakland. I didn't think I'd be that great with Oakland. But it turns out a couple of moves here and there, and a couple of good luck, a couple of good luck plays here and there, had us on a championship run. We're on a, a great run, and we are officially, guys. We're officially in the playoffs. We've clinched a playoff berth. Now all that matters is if we can get that home field advantage. All that matters is that we can clinch people coming to Oakland, people coming to the black hole. And if they come to a black hole, we must protect this house. You see, we're 7-0 and on the season. Well, actually, we're 6-0, I mean. We're 6-0 and on the season at home. And you see here, I'm going to get on the run with Michael Vick. I'm going to juke a dude out, and I get off with like a 20-yard run. Well, actually, you know, season, correction. Defense, we are actually 7-0 on the season, the NFL, and we play and the Broncos next pass, week to close out the season. It's going to be at home. Hopefully, it's a night game. Hopefully, the atmosphere is crazy, swap. and all those pixelated, those pixelated people in the Madden franchise, the Madden series, those pixelated fans come out in droves for us. So, you see here, I fight off one tackle. I get that touchdown, baby, to put us up. 7 to nothing to start off the game. A quick, like, two and a half minute score. A quick three now. Now, a quick defensive stop got us the ball and put us in great position like on the 40 yard line to get us a uh, touchdown to start off the game. So going into this, you know, Philip Rivers is actually one of the better quarterbacks in the lead in the league, but he hasn't really done that much in, as far as playoffs, as far as championships. Danny Woodhead seems to break every freaking tackle known to man. Apparently he's a beast in this game. Apparently he can break anything. That white chocolate dude. Like, come on, dude. Like, you're not that fast. Like, let's be real. As I up ended, did you see that? I went bottom and top on that dude. I annihilated him. And then Danny Woodhead's going to get stopped by uh, Adrian Claiborne. So, guys. This week, you know, Philip Rivers, he's, he can be dangerous. He can be a, a solid quarterback, and he is a solid quarterback. The thing is, he hasn't proven to be a championship-level quarterback, or his team hasn't proved, proven to be a championship-level team. I know they got into the playoffs this year, but they're not really... I think Super Bowl contenders, they sometimes are, they sometimes can be, it just depends. So on offense, you know, they can be explosive. They can be explosive with the tandem of Woodhead and he, him coming out of the backfield, he can catch anything. But you see there, I stop him on the one yard line. That's gonna close out the quarter. We're up seven to nothing and they're driving. They're in the red zone. As I was saying, guys, their offense can be pretty legit. It just depends. We have to mix up our coverages. We had to get in there. We had to sack him. We had to make some turnovers, force some turnovers, get some pressure. I stop him on the one-yard line with Branch. I got lucky, really lucky that I made that stop. But my dude just gets jacked on the edge right there. That dude just got laid out. He just got lit up. So they score a touchdown. They tie the game. Second quarter, I get the ball. I look back with Jacoby Ford. I try to spin move. It doesn't work. So going into this on offense, we've had a pretty good offensive season, honestly. We've had a great rushing attack. We've had a decent to mid-level passing attack. It's not like a superb. It's not Peyton Manning level. It's not Tom Brady or Drew Brees level. But we've had some pretty decent, a pretty decent passing attack. But our bread and butter is always going to be the ground game. It's always going to be the ground and pound. So we want to get this going. We want to get some ground and pound going. Of course, we want to get Andre Johnson involved. I always want to get Andre Johnson involved. He's a beast. He's like a man child or something out there. But of course, we got to get Run DMC involved. We got to get uh, Darren McFadden involved because he's the second leading rusher on the season. And I've decided actually to give him a contract distinction. He's played his way into my heart. He's played his way into my heart. He should truck that dude. But he's played his way into my heart. And we should give him like a five year extension or something like that because he's proved to be proven to be one of the top running backs on my team. As I slide right there, that dude thought he was going to let me up. And I say, no. I say, I'm sliding home, baby. I'm saying you're not going to get none. So I throw it up to Casa, and he almost comes up with like the Hail Mary. The prayer. My prayer was almost answered but you see we're driving and I cut back I made a great cut that was like a, a great cut if I do say it so myself sometimes you gotta have that running back vision you gotta see those cut lanes but Darren McFadden has those butterfingers and he fumbles the football 
I haven't really had that many turnovers as far as fumbles this season. I know I did last week. I know I have a few here and there. But as far as rushing, like straight up rushing, to where it's not anything crazy, I haven't really had that many turnovers fumble-wise. And, of course, I've also been dropping everything on the defensive end. Like, why can I not make an interception? There's another one. Why can I not make a pick? Come on, dude. You got to catch that. You got to give me the ball. But we forced that three and out, and we're going to get the ball back. Jacoby Ford's going to get the ball back. He's going to catch this punt. Hopefully, he can take it to the house. Hopefully, he can take it home. Bring me home, Jacoby. Bring me home. I have to decide if I want to keep him in the slot as far as receiver. He's a good returner. Don't get me wrong, but I think like a Devin Hester type, that might even be a better better thing. I took him out of his shoes. Get hoopty hooped, son. I just left your shoes on the field. You just fell out of them, honestly. Michael Vick is unstoppable. He's an unstoppable force. Run him over, truck stick, baby. <laughs> Run DMC, just lit that dude up. He just had that truck stick. He hit that truck stick, and that dude was just playing. He just got leveled. He just got a freight train like right on him. So I run the read option and then I get another like 10 yards with Danny McFan. So we're driving. We're in the red zone. We're moving down the field. I hit Jennings in the foot. I'm trying to run over everyone. I'm trying to hit that truck stick every single time because my running backs are not necessarily speedy, but they are running the truck stick. There are freight trains out there. And then I run the read option. I'm going to get into the end zone with a rushing touchdown with Mike Vick. We haven't really done that that much this season we haven't really gotten Mike Vick involved in the rushing game or scrambling effect which is where he's dangerous his running game is like crazy so there's 30 seconds left and honestly if we would have incorporated that rushing game more heading into the playoffs I think I'm going to need to incorporate that element of our run game that speed on the outside the person that can get out on the edge and cause havoc and cause mayhem so you see they're just going to kill the clock they're going to kill the quarter and we're going into halftime and we're pretty much we're doing pretty good offensively we have 120 rushing yards 41 passing yards we're averaging 7 point or 7.0 yards per carry which is pretty good and we're dominating possession so right now we're we have a pretty solid pretty solid thing going for us and we get the ball back which is going to be great if we can capitalize unfortunately Jacoby Ford decides he wants to fumble it luckily we still get the ball and I'm just going to keep that rushing attack going we're running all over them I mean they can't really stop the run right now and I think I believe hanging in this game they're going to run the worst get truck stick dude sit down get on the floor get on the turf cry like a baby cry on your mama's boobies <laughs> so I pick up that short game I, and then I'm going to run the ball you know I'm going to run the ball try to get that first down it doesn't happen so we're third and two and I'm thinking you know let's try again let's try Pound it up the Reese middle. Let's try to pound that rock. Off. Get on That's the edge, me. Reese. I actually decided to give it to my fullback that time. Because you gotta show the fatty the love. You gotta feed him. You just gotta feed the fatty sometimes. Show him some love, you know. Give him that bread. Give him that biscuit. Give him that cake. And maybe he'll love you more. Maybe he'll perform a little bit better. And somehow they come up with the ridiculous interception. I'm thinking that I'm like, you know. There's some times where you're just destined to lose. There's some times where the football gods just aren't going to embrace you, just aren't going to have your back. And right now, right then, that was just one of those times. And then I come up and almost have another interception, but they, the football gods aren't blessing me right now. They're just screwing me over. That tipped interception was insane. But, you know, sometimes that happens in real life. That happens in the real life game. I know. I know, like, very well because I played football from, like, I want to say, like, since I was 11 years, 11 years old all the way up through college. It was insane. Things happened like that you know you gotta embrace it Danny Woodhead that little munchkin's gonna get on the edge I felt like the lollipop guild was in play I felt like the lollipop guild was running all over me and you can't have the lollipop guild all over all over the place you gotta get some Keebler Elves up in here make them some cookies dude make me some cookies Danny Woodhead you're a munchkin make me cookies that's what you deserve sit down so we force them to the field goal which is what we need off that big turnover so we're gonna get the ball back we're gonna get the ball back and now we have to score because now it's not one possession game now it's time to put the game away maybe hopefully get another score at least get a field goal because if we don't get a field goal they're just gonna be in still a one possession game but if we can score that touchdown it's gonna be two possessions I get rocked I get rock'em sock'em robot I get set down right off the bat so I come back with the play action I hit Johnson but he drops the football they had no respect for Andre Johnson what is this what is this Madden and then I get tackled when I was trying to scramble so we're going into the second half or the second half the fourth quarter we're going into the fourth quarter up by four so get your fours up guys get your freaking fours up and what i mean by fours is that one finger two finger three finger four finger 
But, you know, football gods, they aren't busting me. Two plays. How, do you will never see that in the game. Two plays where there's just tip passes all over the place, and they make a play of it. You will never see that in any football game. And if you do, it's rare. I just got screwed over quadruple. Quadruple screwed over. And if you don't know how much that is, that's prison. That's prison stuff right there. If you get screwed over that much, that's prison stuff. And that right there, the dude was full of falling, throwing off his back foot. Philip Rivers was throwing off his back foot, and he still completed the pass. So they score the touchdown. They take the lead. And now is when you're peeing yourself, guys. Now is when you're scared for Frosty's life. Now is when you're scared for Raider Nation. If you're a Raider fan, be afraid. Be very, very afraid. So I get the ball back. You know, I'm not going to disappoint. I'm not afraid. I got my running game. I'm going to get my running game going. I'm just going to keep running it down your freaking throat until you can prove to stop me. Last time they did stop me on a freak interception. But I come back. I get that toss sweep out on the edge. I get DMC out on the edge. And he's dangerous out on the edge. He's going to run you over. He's going to run over your cornerbacks. And then I'm just going to keep giving him the rock. Unluckily, he didn't stay up that time. Unluckily. But I'm going to come back. The screen in this game is the deadliest thing. I would say that over and over again as that dude just got trucked by my lineman. He just got walled. He just got pancaked. So I'm going to put up six, baby. Touchdown. Hey, hey, hey. Celebrate good times. Come on. Yeah. Let's go to Waffle House now after that touchdown. I want some waffles. We're up 21-17. If we stop them here, we put ourselves in a great position. To end the game and run out the clock. So we have to come up with a big stop. Philip Rivers drops back. He hits the out route. They're going to get first down. I take out his legs the last second to prevent an even longer game. He drops back again and he's going to get sick. Good job, Walker. Good job with that sack. Good job, Biggin. You big boy. Big boy. Come up with the sack and that dude just got rocked. He just got lit up. Sit down. Sit down, dude. You're injured. <laughs> and then they come up with a lucky reception again. They're just getting lucky. And, you know, right now I'm thinking to myself, if they win this game, it's because of that crazy interception they had earlier. He's going deep, but he's not going to complete the pass. That might have been Keenan Allen. I'm not sure. But they don't complete the pass. He's going to drop back again. And they do complete the pass that time. So they're driving down the field. And Philip Rivers is tearing me up. He's ripping me apart. I up in that, dude. Sit down. Sit down. Second and four, guys. They're just throwing the ball over the place, but I jacked that dude. You see me, I read that perfectly. I knew he was going to the flat with Navarro Bowman. I seen him, I jacked him, but I jacked him again right there, and they still get the first down. So they're driving. We need to make a stop. Ben, but don't break defense. I get that sack right there. There's a minute and a half left in the game. Phil Rivers drops back again. He's throwing it out, but he's not going to complete that. He had a terrible pass. Third and 16. It's third and long. We need a stop. We need a big stop right here, and he throws it short. What are you doing, Phil Rivers? You just want to give me the game, like fourth and long now, and it's coming down to the wire, and you're going to go short again, and you're going to have to get like a 10-yard gain just in order to get first down. Luckily, I jacked the dude. I jacked the dude, so there's like a minute left in the game. I have run DMC all over the place. I'm going to jack that dude for the first down, so we kill one of their timeouts. We come back with DMC again. He gets stopped in the backfield, but we burn another of their timeouts. I come up with him again, and we still don't get anything. But then I run the QB draw just to burn the time, just to kill some time, hopefully win the game. You know, we're, we're in a short short time limit right here. We need to play field position. Field possession. We need to play field positioning. My bad. And then he gets jacked. He fumbles the ball. He goes backwards. So they got six seconds left to throw up the prayer for the football guts to be answering the prayer by come up with the sack. So we win 21-17, guys. Stay frosty. I love ya.